This is the fish house I built last year. Tried to do it at, on as cheap of a budget as I could. <clears throat> it's using a small, um, deep utility sled from, I think, Fleet Farm. Um, some PVC. I think there's five, four eye bolts holding on the PVC to the sled. Uh, a little bit of lumber for the back. Um, basically, there's a board back here so that the whole thing tips up on its end, on its backside, and this just keeps the sled sitting level with the ground. Um, and then tarp on top, cut to fit kind of over the frame of the PVC. I'll show you how it folds out. It's it's not real quiet. This is a this is a box just that I basically sit in once the sled pulls over top, and it's just turn so I can set my rod that's in there. Um, I'm sure the PVC can be cleaned up better. I don't really have a good method of gluing it down. I should probably buy some polyurethane polyethylene, whatever tarp is. I'll just flip it up for now. Here you can see basically it's just a square frame. Um, it's, it's a cube but the bottom the bottom legs are not connected. It's all just hinged so that it folds up. Um, these are just supports I made by cutting T-joints and I just cut them with my bandsaw. Um, so they clip on the other poles once it's up. Here's the eye bolts just through the lip of the sled big, with a big enough inner diameter to fit around the PVC. And then the, uh, the construction of the frame. Um, I think some of the pieces that don't need to be hinged and don't need to turn inside the joints are glued. Otherwise I've got uh, 550 paracord with holes drilled on each end of the joints and then I pull them tight, tie knots in each end on the outside with washers and that just keeps them from falling apart but uh, still allows them to turn the way they need to. That's basically it. These go in here. They help hold the shape and they keep the sides from blowing in when you're fishing. set up, you drill your holes or whatever in front, and you just pull over top of you. Just like that. And it's not a perfect rectangle or a cube. It's, I think it's three feet back here, and it might be four at the top, just to give you a little bit of extra room in front of you. Um, that's pretty much it. I bought a grommet kit to help with some of the paracord on the inside so I can pull things tight. Um, the sled was about 50 bucks, the rest of the materials was somewhere between 30 and 50, so it's a pretty cheap fish house for one person. Here's the other side of the fish house, the sled side. Um, it's, the trickiest part is to take all the extra material that I've got hanging over the sides to keep the wind from getting through tied up when you're moving it. Some more paracord, some carabiners. Slide the stuff down. And I've just got some more paracord to go back here and basically clip around the back side to keep everything taut. That way, when you're done, you can unclip it, fold everything on top, and the flat surface on top works pretty good for hauling everything. <clears throat> 